Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you a few yogas on the example of Phil Mickelson. He is the second best golfer in the world and he was born 16 June. So today we have his birthday. And on this example, I want to show you the Simhasana Yoga, which is a 10th Lord Indi Lagna, the Venus and Moon Yoga, which is Annapurna Yoga, how this is reflected in the 10th house from the Lagna from the Moon and also using the Navamsha and dispositor of that yoga showing that this will be especially in the sports and few other yogas like Saturn and Ketu which is the Shraddha yoga. So if you like the video please click the like button if you'd like to be notified about similar videos in the future please click the subscribe button with the bell notification. So let's go straight to this video. So when we analyze this chart from the career life perspective, then we see that this is Libra Lagna and the moon is in the first house. So naturally also the 10th house from the ascendant will be 10th house from the moon. And there we have the Venus in the 10th house also sitting. Venus in 10th house normally shows that the person will have career life related to travel. So traveling can be there. Also Venus doesn't like to work very much. So these people normally like to have some kind of sensual addition in the work. So they use media a lot. They have to have some coffee, some enjoyment, some luxury, some nice office has to be there. These people pay attention to these things in the work, in the office. So when I saw this chart, even before seeing that this is the best golfer, I was thinking, okay, this is the moon Venus. Normally I would say this is someone who is either some kind of agent, so is having a platform, and is giving other people jobs or this is person who is feeding others this could be either through some kind of food this could be some through some kind of giving work giving some kind of resources giving a business so symbolically we could say that person is feeding others now the 10th lord in the lagna is the famous simhasana yoga simha means the lion asana means the when one is sitting. So this is the position for the lion, position for the king. So this is very important placement one is getting in the career life. Normally these people are having the top, either they are expert in the field or they are having some very high position. They are, have authority, these people are respected. In political work it can be prime minister, president, someone with very representative world in the private sector could be the CAO, someone who is basically top manager giving other people work. Also, I have seen for liberal acne especially, these people may have some kind of platform, so they are like agency and they are like a center. For example, it could be a spiritual platform when many people are coming to this place in the social network or even physically it can be some place and it basically centers many people around these projects which this person is leading. So this is what happens with this yoga. Here we have the Jupiter, which also could give the teaching. So I was thinking this is a kind of manager. This could be also some kind of person who is bringing enjoyment to others, Venus and Moon. So when we see this golf tournaments, this is very high society, we could say. These are very privileged people very wealthy and they have a, like a big party in this tournament. So this is the Venus and Moon. Now we also know that this Ketu and Saturn are in second from Arudha Lagna. Lagna Lord here, Ascendant Lord, Lagna is Ascendant, so Venus is in the 10th house and the Arudha Lagna would also fold in the 10th house because the 4th house is weaker. Normally when the Lagna Lord is in the 10th house, the Arudha Lagna falls in the 4th house but because the 10th house is stronger, so here it jumps back to the 10th house. And second from Arudha Lagna, we have Ketu and Saturn. So I was thinking, oh, this can be either health problem or this could be also some kind of financial problem or this Ketu and Saturn, normally they show a thief. So this could show someone is taking the money. Now, because the Ketu is in Leo and Leo loaded by Sun shows the government, 
So this could show that either the boss is taking your money, government. And we see that second from Arudlag now and there's occupied by Sun. And the Sun is in 12th house in the Mercurial sign. This is normally showing some kind of legal issues. Now the dispositor of that is Mercury in the 8th house. And from the Sun placement, we see that this Mercury is ruling the wealth in the chart. So the Mercury is showing the wealth. Now, the, because Mercury is in the ninth lord, it shows it has something to do with luck. Because it's in the eighth house, it has something to do with other resources. So this sounds like, this can sound like stock market. So now we know that Phil Mickelson and he had insider trading legal issue problems. So we see that the Saturn, Sun and Mars in ninth house in Mercurial sign shows this government problems related to legal issues related to other people's wealth. Because the Sun is with Mars, aspected by Saturn, aspected by Rahu. So this ninth house is very afflicted. Now, if we use Navamsha to this, we will see that this Venus is in 10th house, debilitated, which can give a lot of money and suspected by the moon. So this moon and the Venus yoga is very important for wealth. When this is related to the 10th house, it shows the person is very wealthy. And this is in Mercurial sign and this Mercury will show sports, especially in Aries sign or Scorpio related to Mars. So Mercury related to Mars showing the sports. So this wealth is coming now from sports, which is seen in the Navamsha. In the Dashamsa, we see that the moon is in seventh house, so it can make person popular in his field of work. Jupiter is in 10th house. Now, when I was seeing this chart, I was thinking this Jupiter has something to do with teaching and must be there. And I then find out that Phil with his wife, Amy, they are also having teacher sponsorship. So in the Dashamsa, we have that Jupiter in 10th house, which shows this is related to a uh, teaching business also, uh, which he has with his wife. This is in Libra sign. And also, again, the main thing, Sixth Lord is Mercury again, which is showing his job in the Marshall sign in the Navamsha, also in Eris. So this Mercury is Eris in the Navamsha and in the Dashamsa, which shows that he is a sportsman. Venus in own sign in the Dashamsha, aspecting the Jupiter in the 10th house is very important because this shows that big companies are involved a lot of private sector is also involved just to recap this chart is very important and very nicely depicts two yogas venus and moon this is anana purna yoga this can indicate working in management private sector doing some kind of courses also this is very good for being and having some kind of agency place to which other people are coming you can give also food to others in the form of jobs or literally food. And this is showing also person who can travel in the career life a lot. Tent Lord Indi Lagna indicates Simhasana Yoga, having a, being expert in the field or having a very high position. Saturn Ketu was influencing second house from Aruda Lagna and this is showing the problem that someone is taking your money. This can also indicate health issues. Because it was in Leo, it has shown as government was taking the money of the person. This was because the Saturn and Mars was in the ninth house, which shows government. The dispositor of that Mercury is in eighth house. This was because the person was involved in the stock market. Eighth house has to do with speculation. It's natural Scorpio, Ketu intuition and eighth house other people money. Now, because person was involved in that and it was too much, this too much could be because Sun is 11th Lord. So this is our gain. 11th Lord can sometimes mean that we are taking too much. And then if there is malefics, we can get punished. So this Sun and Mars in 9th house is showing that in 12th from Arudalagna, person is having losses. Because it's a mercurial sign, this may also show legal issues. Because Jaimini says that when Mercury is involved in the malefics in the 12th from Aruda Lagna, this may be a legal issue problem. So in the Navamsha, Venus and Moon in 10th house, big wealth, Saturn and Ketu are in 8th and 12th in Navamsha. This may indicate health issues. This was also in the Leo 
So the person had two surgeries for hernia. And Leo indicates stomach region. This also involves seven house from the ascendant. Therefore, this is also a spine region, this malefix. So the Saturn debilitated here indicates problem in this region. I hope you have gained some insights from this example, or at least this has entertained you. If you find any value in that, please click the like button, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.